What is the crack, lads? What is going on? And hope everybody is good. We are back with some epic uh, player reviews, breakdowns, whatever you want to call it. We've got Diego Forlan, we've got Davavia, and we've got Fernando Torres. So, three good strikers. Obviously, you will probably be a fan of one of these. I always liked Villa uh, when he was playing in La Liga. Absolute beast for Valencia. I just loved watching him when I was a bit younger. Uh, he was so lethal in front of goals. And then Diego Forlan as well, who's an ex-Manchester United player. Torres, I always had a soft spot for Torres because of the Pez series. He was a beast in Master League for a few seasons and online in MLO. But anyway, let's get straight into the breakdown. Let's, sorry about the graphic in the top right-hand corner as well. There's, there's a lot of people stealing my videos, man, and re-uploading them. So uh, with the videos that I can't do um, the face cams on, I'm going to have to stick that watermark on there. So yeah, it's just a pity, man, but it is what it is. But anyway, hopefully it doesn't distract too much. Right, so we're going to kick off with Diego Forlan, right? He's kind of the, the pick of the pack here, um, I would say, in terms of he's a deep line forward. He's a very unique uh, card actually lads right yes he's as slow as molasses but I definitely do think he can be a good featured player for you and especially because of that offensive awareness right you need to look for two things if you're looking for a, a center forward right if he doesn't have acceleration that goes into the 90s such as Romario or Mbappe okay because that usually is tied with offensive awareness and balance anyway if you don't have that speed, if you don't have that blister and pace, you 100% need offensive awareness, right? Now, he has got some nice player skills, some nice shooting stats and stuff like that, but he's not a running gun player. So if you're looking to replace him with uh, Mbappe or someone like that, or re replace Mbappe with him, none of these guys on the list here are going to do it for you, right? Uh, Forlan is more in the line of Adriano. That's how I would describe him. Bit of a target man, bit of a player, and a good shooter with really high offensive awareness, right? But if you take a look over here in eFootball DB, we're actually going to see that he has got 97 offensive awareness in this build. That is incredible. That's also going to bring up his acceleration to 88. So the runs that he's going to be making are pretty much going to be untrackable, right? I see a lot of people talk about Forlan the same way as they kind of talk about um, uh, Van Basten or even Harry Kane in the game. Harry Kane is a really good player in the game as well. I mean, he hit me for four last week on stream when I was playing against the guy, um, and he, he was just impossible to track his runs, right? Um, so especially when the connection is a bit iffy, the AI can kind of control in a different way um, when you're not controlling them yourself. The AI can kind of step in and make some incredible runs for you that just open up space, right? So that, defense, that offensive awareness is key for this card, but you also have 85 finishing and 89 curl, um, if you're able to do any finesse shots bottom low, but that acceleration, balance, kick and power and offensive awareness are incredible for this card, right? Now, if you are looking for, and if you spin a different type of card, which would be David Villa, he goes to 92 overall, but the build that we actually have for him is a 91 overall uh, rated player, okay? So Villa does have a little bit more about him. He's got double touch and soul control. If you could stick on one touch pass on him, all well and good. If you can't, use him as your kind of um, running gun striker that has that little bit of pace, right? There's two different ways to train him up, which we'll get into, okay? So the first thing is, you're not going to have that blister and pace again, but the way that the pace works in the game is that if, as I already said, with the way the game plays at the moment, if you can get that offensive awareness up to the 90 zone, which he'll get the boost with this, you can kind of circumvent that a lot, right? Now, this card also has, this build also has 88 finishing and 88 curl. So you can kind of see where they're going with these strikers now. They're making them very um, kind of skillful in front of goal. They mightn't be the fastest, but they are, you know, very skillful. And obviously, this is a 38-year-old David Villa. So, I mean, Diego Forlan is 35 and Torres is 34. So they're, you know, they're well past their prime in terms of their athleticism and speed and strength. But in terms of popping the ball in the back of the net, they're still definitely able to do that, right? So there is one key change that you can make to David Villa here, okay? If you're fairly comfortable with the finishing, you can actually reduce this by about two, okay? And you'll still have enough uh, with 86 finishing with the boost because he does have um, B player rating form, uh, the live update, and uh, unwavering form there, okay? And if you do that and you take away from the uh, shooting, you can actually put that into dexterity right you can put the, the the seven points into dexterity to bring up that balance and acceleration that when you actually uh train him up properly like this you're going to have more of a run and gun you're still going to have 86 ball control 
with everything else in the 80s 86 finishing 86 curl but now you have 79 acceleration with 81 balance and that 90 offensive awareness the higher you can go with the offensive awareness unless your player has like 85 plus acceleration um go as high as you can on the offensive awareness right so that's just a little key tip if you're starting off and as a goal poacher his player id is going to be really good as well now Torres as a fox in the box it's kind of a unique center forward selection lads you've got you know Diego Forlan who is going to be a deep line forward then you have David Villa who's a goal, goal poacher and then you have Fernando Torres who's a fox in the box this Torres card is a little bit disappointing because it's on standard form I definitely think it should have just been on unwavering just to make it fair but he does have double touch and soul control he also has heading rising shot acrobatic finish first time shot scotch move chip shot control um if you're able to get one touch on him all well and good but the most important additional skill to put on him is actually super sub torres can be an insane and i mean an insane impact player because you don't need to especially when you're building this card you don't need to actually train up a lot of the stuff um if you're making him an impact player and that is the build that i would be recommending because you just can't hit listen you can't hit all of the marks on this even if you put five into speed you're still going to have 68 stamina at 75 speed it's not going to make or break this card it's not going to really make a difference in the card so again what are we going for we're trying to get that dexterity up right i would also say with the dribbling if you're using him as an impact player i would be maxing out that offensive awareness as a fox in the box let the ai make the runs into the box for you and you just be able to finish him off right um aerial strength is quite decent at that you can mess around with that if you want and you know take a couple from the dribbling and the ball control and pop two more into shooting to bring it up to 84 that's going to get you an 88 rated center forward with 90 offensive awareness 78 acceleration 70 speed 80 ball control and 84 dribbling it is the most disappointing card of the pack. It definitely is. I would say that Forlan is probably the best. People will sleep on a Forlan, trust me. They will sleep on him. And I guarantee you he'll pop goals in against you if you're playing against him. So yeah, that is it for me, lads. I will be back quite soon with another one. Are you happy or I was going to say dishappy? <laughs> Unhappy, disappointed with um, this selection. I definitely think Torres should have been on B form and uh, three unwavering form. And I also would have liked Davavia just to be a little bit more clinical i think without having to train up his finishing i know you can get it to the 86 or 88 depending on how you train him but i even think that if you had davafia with a base finishing at 80 there because it's, it's at 76 i think it would have made this card a little bit more viable and i think the same with forlan you know if you are lacking a little bit of pace and speed you know once you can get that offensive awareness up and the finishing up you'll be able to score for fun if you're just able to get the ball into their feet so that is it for me. Let me know what you guys think about that. Obviously, we have the Netherlands pack done. We'll do the summer transfer next and we will be live streaming later. So I hope to, hope to see you guys there and I will talk to you in a bit. Don't forget to subscribe.